Hello friends. Welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Today's make at home project is Servo 3 digit code lock. Controlled by ATtiny85. Select a suitable PCB and mark positive and negative power supply lines for easy identification. Plan to position the main components on the PCB. Like voltage controller, microcontroller, servo motor, and OLED. Start soldering. Use a 4 hole Berg strip for holding OLED. Use 3 pin Berg strip for servo connection and 6 pin for ISP port. Check for soldering faults, if any, using a multimeter or continuity tester. Connect a 9 volts battery and check for 5 volts across the pin numbers 4, 8, and other related pins. Connect two tactile button switches to pin numbers 2 and 3. Insert microcontroller in its base and connect programmer to ISP port. Then connect 9 volts battery. Then write hex code to ATtiny85 using any suitable AVR programmer. Disconnect programmer and power supply. Now, start assembling. OLED in its position. Then, connecting and placing servo motor suitably. The two buttons are used for code entry. Now connect power supply to the circuit. The power indicator LED glows and a welcome message is displayed. Now for new chip a cursor blinks on OLED and waiting for entry of new three digit code. By pressing the next button the cursor moves to next digit and by pressing the up button the displaying number increments by one. Once a digit crosses 9, then, it resets to 1, again the loop continues. After setting the new 3 digit code, press next button, to save the code. Then, a successful saving message is displayed. Now, the servo code lock, is ready. You may try by entering wrong code, using the same two buttons. An invalid code, message is displayed, and the servo is in locked position. Now, try by entering correct 3 digit code, which is saved earlier. A successful message is displayed and the servo rotates to unlock position. You may connect any locker or latch to the horn of the servo motor. The servo holds the unlock position, depending on the delay time set in the source code. After the specified time, the servo rotates to lock position again and waits for code entry. This is the complete circuit diagram. Please press like button if you like this video and subscribe for more projects. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.